Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Amber Kivett. I'm presenting to you from Life Pro Fitness today. Um, what I'm wanting to share with you is a specific type of workout that you can do 10 15 minutes time um, using the Life Pro Whole Body Vibration Platform. If you don't already have a platform, now is the time to look into one. Um, they are phenomenal uh, use of equipment for stress relief, for lowering cortisol and stress hormone levels. Um, for those who are fighting uh, the illness and the viruses uh, right now globally, um, it helps to boost your immunity system um, as well as flushing lymphatic uh, drainage throughout the body. Um, the lymphatic system is used as our body's garbage disposal system. And so when we need to be at our healthiest and to be at our strongest, this is the time to look into the whole body vibration platform because there's so many wonderful purposes that it serves um, that any one of our platforms below in the carousel would be ideal for you to use at home. Um, what I'm going to show you today is just a brief 10-15 minute tops uh, workout that you can do um, and, and come back to this um, at a later time if you need to, but it's just an introduction type workout so that you, if you don't want to just stand on the platform, then you can do some other things to help with improving tone, balance, um, strength, um, pain relief, a lot of different things. Specifically today, I'm going to show you lower body. Um, and each one of these workouts is about 10 minutes. Um, the, the, the platforms are pre-programmed with a 10 minute workout. So that's what I'm going to use today. Um, I'm going to be featuring the Rumble X, um, which is the, um, the bigger version of all their platforms. It's my favorite. Um, it has a lot of different features on it and, uh, you can, uh, program it on, on, on manual mode in order to do what you wanted it to do. But, um, it is got the most features. It comes with a handy remote control so that you don't have to bend over and switch up your workouts. Um, and then it also comes with resistance bands that you're going to see in this workout. Um, so a lot, a lot of good stuff with that platform, but any one of the platforms would be great. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And because of the distancing, as long as you can see my lower body and what my lower body is doing, that's the most important thing. So I apologize if my head cuts off. Um, but um, if you should have any questions, please reach out to us. Please subscribe so that you can see further casts of uh, what we're going to be sharing as far as workouts go. And then uh, coming up here in the next couple days, I'll be happy to share with you an upper body workout. If you're not wanting to work specific low, lower body, you can work upper body workouts. So, but today we're going to do lower extremity specifically um, with some balance. And today I've got my shoes on versus going barefoot. So um, enjoy. And if you have questions, definitely reach out to us and let us know. All right. So first, we're going to start with turning the unit on. And you can use your remote control in order to do that as well. Um, for, for demonstration purposes, make sure that you have a chair, a stable chair that's handy, um, because I'm going to do a lot of sitting standing on this unit. Um, you're going to want to have your resistance bands that come with the kit handy. Um, this is all included with the um, price of the unit, but you're going to get, again, you kind of get this remote that you can wear like a bracelet on your wrist. Um, and it, this is specific to the Rumble X. And it will share with you, uh, shows you uh, auto mode, manual mode, uh, different pre-programs that are already in the unit. Um, you're gonna get a set of mini loop resistance bands. This is a light band. You're gonna get an extra light band. You're gonna get a medium band. And you're gonna get a heavy band. Okay, and each one of our platforms comes with a different series of bands. Um, and then you also have resistance bands that attach with handles to the unit. They're already attached, so you'll see me um, using those as well. But just wanted to share with you the different bands that you can use. Um, for demonstration purposes today, I'm gonna be starting using with the medium band. So depending on which one you have, um, there's two different colors of blue, but they're both medium. So we're gonna start with that. Make sure you have that handy. And from here, I'm just gonna have a seat in order to get comfortable here. Um, my legs are tired, they've been going uh, through a lot of workouts, so this is gonna feel great. Again, this is really good for um, stress relief, for pain control, for lymphatic flushing. Um, so today is a great day for me because I really needed this. Um, so I'm gonna start on auto mode, 
and specifically I'm going to be on P2 if you have this unit at home, P2. I'm going to go ahead and start. So we are starting, it's a 10 minute routine and all I'm doing is just relaxing here. Um, you can keep your resistance band heavy, but right now I just want to get comfortable with being with the unit. So make notice how it feels with your feet together versus with your feet apart. And on this unit, it specifically provides you markers so that you can go easy, medium, hard with the vibration that's coming through, um, coming through your feet. Um, so things have switched up now. Now I'm getting more of a tilting sensation versus just a vibration or a lateral shift. So that's one of the beautiful things with the Rumble X. And right now, it, it changes its own speed, so you don't have to do anything with that unless you're on manual mode. That's why I like the auto mode. Um, what I want you to do right now is just very, very carefully, you can use your hands underneath of your chair if you want to, lean forward and then just stand up and just see what that feels like as compared to in a seated position. If you're close to a wall, you can hold on to the wall for balance. But just nice, easy, relaxing and standing here and absorbing this positive energy as it works its magic to clear all the negativity from our system. It's a great thing. From here, we can go into more of a squatting position. So think about sitting on the toilet or skiing downward, okay? You can hold on to your knees if you need to for extra support. Lots of burning here. And so what you have to remember, it doesn't, you don't have to work hard in order to get great results out of this, uh, out of this equipment. It's really cool because as you are on the platform, it is sending a tremendous amount of vibration through your feet, which when you add with gravity pushing back down on you, it is requiring your muscles to involuntarily fire and relax so fast we can't even think about it. Um, and in doing that, we're burning calories, we're pushing toxicity out of our system, we're loosening up. There's a lot of greatness happening right here. So we're gonna stand. And I want you to just do 10 of those in a row, all right? And if you need to go wider, Feel free to go wider, you're, whatever your comfort zone is. But this should not hurt. So if you have pain with any of this, or, or an increase in pain intensity, go back to a seated position or back to a standing position. When you're in a standing position, your knees should be unlocked and relaxed at all times. Never lock your knees when you're on this machine. So from here, we're gonna squat down, hold, come on back up, hold, dropping down, Good. Coming on up. Three here. Up. There's four. Nice job. Five. There's six. Doing good. If you want to change your angle and go to a different get go to a different width. That changes how you're working these muscles. So if you need more difficulty, switch it up. If you need it to be easier, switch it up. There's seven, eight, there's nine, and one more. Right there. Now from here, what I want you to do is make sure that you're stable. From here, what I want you to do is trace your hands down your legs and this is what we call a hinge. Keep your head and your chest high. Keep your knees relaxed, but not squatting. Just nice and relaxed, not locked out. But right here, this is a hinge position. We refer to this also as a deadlift. So come on up. The difference with the deadlift is we're not moving through the knees. We're moving through the hip up high. Whereas a squat, we're moving through our ankles, our knees, and our hips but you're just using your hands to trace down your legs so that you have a good idea of where you're at in space while you're on this unit. Nice and easy. Feels really, really good. Good. Now what you can do to make this a little bit more challenging, like I said, I've got the bands and the, the cable, the resistance bands are attached to the unit, okay? And so what you can do um, I don't have these shortened up at the moment, so I can just grip 
halfway down with my hands on the handles, okay? And so here, we're gonna reach down to the floor, relax, and then we're gonna pull up. Relax, drop down, pull up. Relax, drop down, pull up. And this feels totally different than when you're just working from the ground, because again, we're vibrating at the same time and there's a lot going on in our body on a physical, biological level, on a cellular level, because of the benefit of vibration in our body. Okay, and this is a controlled vibration, so it's not the same as vibration that you would get from occupation, which causes a lot of injury. This is more of a soothing, and it's very controlled. Nice job. All right, from here, if we want to make this more interesting, we are going to have a seat. And one foot at a time, you're going to slide the band through the loop so that it is around your ankles. That might take you a little while longer than it did for me, and that's okay. What I want you to do here is we are keeping those legs apart, and we're going to lift up out of that chair. Okay? Nice and easy, you're gonna slow back down, making sure that band is keeping extra tension, extra resistance. Find where your chair is and have a seat. So if you're at home sitting on the couch, the couch is a great location, great position for having this tool um, because the couch doesn't move and you can use the couch to create more resistance in order to stand back up. This is a great exercise for anybody. You don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be a senior citizen. You can just work on getting up off the couch onto the platform. And I tell you what, that right there is really challenging to do. If you find that you cannot get up off the, off the couch, if you need to grab one knee and push yourself to here and then stand up, that is quite all right. So here, lower yourself down so you know where you're at. We want to be safe. And we already are almost out of time. I mean, we've already got seven minutes on the clock for this specific workout. So what I want to do now, take those feet extra wide. We're going to bring the knees in and bring them out. Drop them in, drop them out. And when you're doing this, I want you to sit up nice and tall. Okay? Doing good, doing good. I'm feeling that through here and my outer thighs and in my butt really, really sore. Do your feet have to stay stuck? No. Your feet can roll in, roll out. We just want to make sure that we are working this band while we're absorbing that energy, that vibration. All right? Now, if we want to make this a notch harder, we're going to stand up into that um, position as if we're on the stool in the bathroom or as if we're downhill skiing. And so from here, knees in, knees out. Knees in, knees out. A lot, a lot of burning going on back here. Keep that chest nice and high. Nice job. All right. Now, something else that you can do with, with caution is you can stand here on the platform with your feet a little narrower than shoulder width apart, and just tap out with that rubber band on. Okay? Nice and easy. So all this is taking place on the platform. There are a lot of other exercises that we can do off of the platform, which I can demonstrate to you in another series. But for this series, I want to keep everything on the platform so you don't have to move too much. we got less than a minute, so we're switching sides. In. You only have to do 10 minute workout at a time. And because you might have a lot of extra time on your hands, if you wanna do 10 minute workouts two to three times a day, no more than 30 minutes, that would be over the top. Um, you're gonna do 10 minutes in the morning when you first get up, 10 minutes early afternoon, and then 10 minutes before bedtime. That helps with restless leg syndrome. Uh, those who are diabetic, it helps with the complications of diabetes and facilitates a greater amount of circulation into the extremities. So we've got 15 seconds left. And just like that, 
have a seat. And just like that, we've got five seconds left and the machine kicks itself off and we're done. So at this point, this workout on the Rumble X, the Life Pro Rumble X, this workout's officially done. Um, we don't want to do any more than 10 minutes at a time. Um, as much as it might not feel like it's doing a whole lot for your body, give yourself 24 hours before you decide to go through another workout and just see how your body handles it. Don't forget to take your resistance band off. Um, what we don't want to do is we don't want to go into overtraining mode. So when you go into overtraining and you are doing too much on the platforms, um, your body will swell, your body will hurt, you can almost feel like you have a flu-like symptoms or a virus um, in that you can experience nausea, you can experience exhaustion. So if you experience that within the first 24, 48 hours following one of these workouts, um, take a few days off recover, and then get back on and try it again. Um, that being said, if you are actively suffering from any kind of infection or you're suffering of an illness or you're under the weather, um, hold off on getting on the platform um, until you know, you're know you starting to feel a little bit better. So definitely you don't wanna be on the platform if you've been running a fever. We don't want, the beauty of the platform is it has the ability to mobilize blood flow. But if we are mobilizing infectious cell, cells through the system, um, whether it's viral, whether it's bacterial, whether it is an open infection, whether it is cancer, we want to be really careful not to mobilize any of that illness that we're suffering from. So make sure if you have been running a fever or are running a fever that you stay off the unit until your, your symptoms clear up. And if you should have any questions, um, we do not provide any kind of medical recommendations or advice. Um, so make sure and let your doctor know that you're participating with the Life Pro platforms, um, which incidentally enough are being used in a lot of rehabilitation facilities for home use for cancer patients. So if you have had a history of cancer, um, they're doing a lot of research studies right now as to how you can use the platforms to help with lymphatic drainage and for healing after um, going through cancer treatments. So um, I don't wanna, don't wanna scare you off by any means, but we just wanna make sure that if you have an, a, a live infection in your system, this is not the time to get on the platform, but definitely wanna have it for when you're starting to feel better because it helps to mobilize all that junk out of your system and it helps to enhance our body's garbage disposal system, which is our lymphatic system, um, so that you can be the best version of yourself that you can be. So thank you so much for tuning in today with me and I hope to see you again in future episodes. Um, our next episode will be covering some more lower body, we'll get into some core and just some upper body as to how you can use the bands and how to use the platform. So until then, have a wonderful day and we'll see you again next time.